whiskey Cavendish. It's a beautiful thing. Ah. Anyway. There are not going to be any new videos in my Lord Vlog series for a while. Probably not for a few months. Because, uh, I think I hit on a really good thing right at the end and I've still got about half of me all saga left to read but I do not want to do any more until I get a better microphone which is gonna have to wait because once I start getting a paycheck again, I've got a bunch of other things I want to spend money on. Plus, God knows how much of it is going to the bank for the farm. And when I finally do get a new microphone, I'm going to redo all the ones I've already done. doesn't hold a cold very well. Pack too tight. Because, let's face it, Nyal's Saga, it's a really good story, but the way it's written is fucking boring. Even for me. A practicing heathen who was considering stu being, becoming a medievalist until he realized that liberal arts is a waste of life. It's a little hard to get through. And I cannot reasonably expect people to watch those videos when it's just my face talking and crappy sound. It just ain't gonna work. So wait on that. But as far as me reading stories on YouTube is concerned, I have an ambitious new project. And this does not require a new microphone so much because, well, stories are a little more interesting in terms of how they're written. And I can just lean in real close to the microphone like this and it's all going to be good. It's no big secret that I love creepypasta. And if you don't know what creepypasta is, then what the fuck rock have you been living under? It's just this, uh, like, urban legends and ghost stories that are copied and pasted around the internet. And I like them because they have this feel of oral tradition and found footage films. And the good ones can be really scary. As a matter of fact, I wrote one myself and posted it here. The goods. That was mine. And I had a hell of a lot of fun doing it. But see, here's the thing. On my website and the Facebook page, I try to post one snippet of poetry per week. Usually on Wednesdays, but lately it's just been whenever I can get around to it. 
The thing is, though, I've uh, kind of running out of poetry. I don't write it nearly as often as I used to. And in maybe a month or two, I'm going to run out. And I was wondering what I'm going to do when that happens. So, kind of had to accept the fact that it's going to be a hot minute before I can make any kind of money, real money, off my writing. So I've got short stories and a couple of novellas, all written, that I haven't wanted to post on the internet because I want to publish them someday. But... I still want to keep doing a thing a week, and it's going to be a while before I make any kind of money off my writing. So why not? Once I run out of sh once I run out of poetry, I'm going to start posting short stories and maybe serializing a couple of novellas. And on that note. The Holder series. It's this whole creepy pasta thing that, uh. Well, there's a link in the description. You can read about it there. But. Most of them aren't very scary, but they are interesting. Because they really do tap into that whole found footage film thing. And they've got a very Lovecrafty and internal mythology that I really like. And I've had it in my head that I want to write a novel set in the universe of the Holder series. Obviously, I could never publish that because it'd be a copyright nightmare. But so I've never really seriously thought about doing it because I thought it'd be a waste of time. But now, if it'll generate traffic for my website, why the hell not? So, I'm going to do it. Once it's finished, I will serialize chapters as I proofread them. And how does that relate to me reading things on YouTube? Well, you know, just so I keep putting content up, and because it's interesting, because I think people will enjoy it, and because I know I'll enjoy it, and anything to help the creepypasta community, I'm going to start doing readings of the Holder series. I think it'll be good. At the very least, it'll get me a little more traffic, get me familiarized more with the series for when I decide to write that novel, and generate more interest in the whole creepypasta thing. Just come on, people. Let's start a love train. A love train. Yeah.